I think that the Occupy movement is the beginning of a new kind of consciousness. There is a difference in the way a large number of people, even in Western societies, live as compared with a small percentage of elite decision makers, uh, controllers of um, the vast amount of wealth in this country and the world. And I think that people are thinking about it. And I like the decentralized uh, approach that they have. I think, I think they're the beginning of what will be a revolution. They're the, they're the seeds of potential revolution. And I think people are thinking about it and people are figuring out ways to mobilize, to make change. And it may be the leaderless revolution. And I think it's necessary because uh, when there's one charismatic leader, they're co-opted. And enough with personalities. There has to be a critical consciousness or a number of people who think for themselves and think in peaceful ways uh, how we can affect change uh, that is consistent with uh, respecting the value of all human life. And I'm supportive of Occupy movements, the development of an authentic uh, public voice that expresses the outrage and anger uh, as a result of uh, lack of opportunity and well-being and freedoms and liberties and welfares that we have uh, a right to, that our human dignity demands. We need Occupy. We need to continue to support them and help help them in whatever way that we can and, and be a part of it.